This is 31-year-old Nicholas Letney, and well, he's a little bit racist. On the 20th of November 2022, Letney was waiting for a flight from Seattle to Dallas when the flight got delayed. According to police reports, Letney began acting out, causing people to move away from him and report his behavior to the airport staff. Consequently, he was denied booking, causing him to have a complete meltdown and start calling for a race war. He's got some type of mental disorder. That's what right. we're talking about the state. Latney's racist ranting immediately got the police notified, and within a few minutes, officers were already converging on his location. This, this patriot over here is ready to help. This guy's ready to help. If you try to Believe it or not, Letney has a long history of making anti-Semitic remarks on the internet. He's even written a racist book called Nicholas Edward Letney's History of the World. Simply put, Letney is a very proud white nationalist. Yeah, yeah, you are. 
You just don't like my religion, my Christian. And you're a racist Jewish person, and that there's lots of people just committing against Hitler. Good, good part. I'm just like you, like yeah. You're just jealous of my little tiny little thugs that didn't agree. You couldn't even read or write your little thug, tiny little thug cop. You never had a book in your life. Disrespect the authority figures who are your authority figures. You respect authors who read 250 news books. You don't put them on a disability and break your law over and over again. That's a war crime. You want this to invade and wipe out your disabled resort country one day. So the Jewish God is filled. The Americans will probably wipe it out. I think we should wipe out this whole dumb country and wipe out all three of them. The dumbest, most disabled retards who claim they have democracy, who claim they have bill rights. You didn't fall asleep with those of us who broke eight treasonous amendments. You can get eight death penalties. You guys, now you let me go, it's my free speech right to be not. You don't have the right to throw me out of the plane and violate my 14th right to life and privacy values. You violate that one big time. This was not his first run-in with the police. Back in 2016 and 2019, Letney was arrested for indecent assault and domestic assault. However, both times the case was dropped by reason of incompetency. This was a mental health case the officers were dealing with. Yeah, she should listen to me because I'm her authority figure. No, I'm smarter than you. You don't bounce off to me. I'm smarter than any president ever. Then let me go or I'll charge you with treason. You're going to get charged with treason and your whole cop squad at this week's party. We'll get the death penalty. So we're going to be clear. You're going to get the death penalty if they're releasing right now. My assumption for Christ was a Nazi. You only arrested me because I was a Nazi. You wouldn't arrest me if I was a Christian. Nicholas, you're not under arrest right now. We need you some help. You're protected because it's No, actually, I'm not meant to help. The doctors have the grandiose theories that they're responsible for me. I'm a jealous because they have tiny little Jewish. Because you're just a jealous kind of thug. You're a dumb, jealous kind of American little thug. It doesn't respect authority figures. I can beat you a child. You're a little You're a kid's off a thug. And I was going to school. We'll assassinate you. Yeah, so let me go and give my food to the rights. You know, shut up and see your authority figure. Shut up, you dumb You're a dumb civil You think what that's worth. You probably can you drop a thread, you thug. Dumb silver thug. But can you drop a thread? You're a racist bunch of Jews in there. Filthy dumb little f***ing gas chamber. Filthy little f***ing job. Go to your gas chamber and die. How the German army writing this beat to our country out? The does not have democracy. Never had much. I can be president of the United States. I've had 250 in this democracy. You go get an SSI. You're a war to destroy you're gonna waste your little country. Where's that from, bro? You're gonna be wasted by the U.N. the French. You went to the hospital party and cut her head off. You fucking fuck you. According to police reports, Letney was not completely lucid during the encounter and was hearing voices no one else could. He was taken off the scene and involuntarily committed to a hospital. Officers converge on this South Jersey neighborhood after a man's racist rant is caught on video and goes viral. This is 45-year-old Edward Matthews, and these are the hundreds of people protesting in front of his home in Mount Laurel, New Jersey. The crowd of angry protesters were calling for Edward's arrest after a video of him being a racist Karen went viral on the internet. The video in question was taken during a tense encounter with his black neighbors outside their home. Okay, stay right there. Do not talk to him. Do not harass him. I'm going to go to stay This right monkey over here, this monkey over here, both have videotape of you putting your hands on me twice. Oh, yeah, exactly. So what the f are you going to do about it? I'm going to press charges. Go on then. We will. Go on then. You know what the police can do? What will the police do? Nothing. Exactly. Because they have no jurisdiction here. Okay, they don't. Okay, that's fine. So when they get here, I'm going to walk them off like I just did in front of Berlin's house. Okay. Who's Berlin? Okay. I don't care. I don't care. The secretary of the board, her I daughter, are out of here. I don't care. I don't care. You will not go harass them. You will not go talk to them. <laughs> Keep laughing. I am. Good. 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 I will. Oh, good. Keep laughing. That's all Keep you know how to do. Keep on your mouth. That's all you know how to do. That's it. That's it. That's, it. That's, it. That's, it. That's all you know how to do. I didn't touch you. You touched me. I don't give a. That's good. I don't give a for that. Yes, exactly. I don't give a about it. You can't go fresh charges. I don't give a about it. Hold on. You're right. Why can't I press? Why can't I press charges? Why can't I press charges? Just have no jurisdiction here. Nothing. There you go. There you go. There you go.
You have no idea what you're getting involved in. Don't come to me. And if you want to be involved in this, don't I'm going to talk whoever I want. Exactly. Don't come to me. If you want to get involved in this, don't you know what happened to the last one? I know what you did. You broke that window. So when? Do Dude, I, I don't care. Cookie's no. windows got shot out with a shotgun. I don't care. Two twenty twos to the front face. I do not care. In Cherry Hill, the daughter got smashed. Exactly. I don't Is that care. what you want? No. And you want to know where I was when all this happened? I don't care. At work, monkey. I don't care where you were. At Mark. Just like I told the Mount Laurel police, get these monkeys out of here, and you can't do. That's me talking. Thirty six oh two Gramercy Way. That's where I live. Come see me. To put it simply, Edward was the exact kind of neighbor nobody wants to live near. He had a long history of racially harassing, assaulting, and spitting on his neighbors, busting down doors, and breaking windows. As the standoff between neighbors intensified, the police were called to the scene. Luckily, an officer arrived before things turned violent. Hey guys, how you doing? Hey, what? Why are you back over here? Oh, somebody called me. Someone called you. It's private property. You have no jurisdiction here whatsoever. I do you know when it. somebody calls me. Hold Back you know up, what? bro. Hold on. Back go up. Ahead. No, no. Back I'm going to let right? you do your thing. Go talk to the Go ahead. Stop. Stop. You go talk to the Let them know what I'm all about and what their rights they have. All right. Do you want to go back to your house? I'll come back to you in a minute. I'll stay right here. It's time of property. Okay. All have right. Have a nice night. You guys from 1101? Oh, yeah. All right. How's it going? I'm going to let you guys get the education right now. All right. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. I'll do my job, all right? No who, uh, who, who lives at 1101? Who called? Right, yeah. You guys want to step in and talk? Or? No, she, she, she can talk right here. Okay. I want him to go away. I don't know him. I want him to leave me alone. Going away hey. to your husband. Finding me and threatening me while I'm... Hey, cut it out, man. Let All me right. talk to them. Arrest me. I'm not what arresting you, you right now. Relax. You... Just cut it out, dude. I'll I... come talk to you in a... 3602 Gramercy Way. Come see me, you. Nobody's coming to see me. Go home. I'll talk to you in a minute. That should not be allowed to go on. I agree that, that with you. That should not be allowed to go on. I agree with you. Do you um do you guys all live in eleven oh one or yeah. no, just just me. Okay. Sure. Don't want a litter on our property. I appreciate that, thank you. <laughs> do you wanna you wanna go in and talk real quick? Let's we'll see what's going on here. Yeah man, go home. Once inside their home, they explained to the officers what led to the confrontation in the first place. Apparently, Edward showed up in front of their house that evening strictly to pick a fight, brag about how he had run his previous neighbors out of the neighborhood, and yell racial slurs at them. Every other neighbor the officer spoke to agreed that Edward was a belligerent man and a terrible neighbor. All of this led to his highly televised arrest four days later. Now here is the video as police are walking 45-year-old Edward Cagney Matthews out of his apartment. People started throwing bottles and other items at him and police. They had been here protesting to demand he be arrested. This is after many say he harassed neighbors for years using offensive language and racial slurs. In one video that was since gone viral, Matthews is heard using the N-word and likening a black man to a wild animal. But some neighbors say that it went far beyond verbal altercations. This, they say that he shot out a neighbor's windows with BB guns and smeared feces on another neighbor's car. Edward was initially charged with bias, intimidation, and harassment. But after further investigation, he received 22 separate charges, including criminal mischief, possession of a weapon for an unlawful purpose, possession of a controlled dangerous substance, stalking, and possession of drug paraphernalia. Our next case takes us to Broward County, Florida, where retired NFL player Terrell Owens had the police called on him by a Karen for driving to his mailbox. The Karen in question is 38-year-old Caitlin Davis, and on the 3rd of August 2022, she spotted Terrell driving to his mailbox and started screaming at him. He got down from the car to confront her, and she immediately called the police. What's going on? What's up, sir? What's going on, folks? I'm driving to my mailbox. Mm -hmm. She telling me I'm speeding, telling well, me to slow I asked down. Him to slow down, and he rolled down his window and he started harassing. First of all, I didn't harass you. She telling me to slow down. I said, "What do you mean slow down?" I said, "Yo, I'm just going to the mailbox." He I goes, "Get the fuck out of the middle of the road." Right across the street, and he almost hit me. First of all, I didn't. I almost hit you. Now you just making up stuff. No, I literally just said like that a Karen. You almost hit me. That's I did. Why how did I almost hit down. you? And I'm going and to the mailbox. Yeah, I called you a Karen when because I came I over here after you said out. I called there the police. In this Absolutely. Then you then you went on to say, oh, I'm the, the subject of the HO meeting, this and that and the other. I got liens on my house, this and that and the other. Then you start bringing up my status, 
who I was, my HBO, I my VH. You weren't you know. brought it up, lady. I, I did, did it. it. Right. You right. did it. You did. Hey, 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 hey. You almost hit us. First of all, oh. first, first of all, I didn't almost so, hit her. Relax. Okay. No, 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 okay. Just, fine. Sir, relax. I, first of all, relax. I didn't almost hit her. I understand that. Just relax. Just relax. He ran the stop sign. Well, there is no stop sign. What are you Listen. talking about? Understandable. Where are you hit? I wasn't, but I asked him to slow down and he started, he got out of his car and started harassing me. He put his car in park what? and because started you harassing me. Telling me I almost hit you and I did it. But you Listen. didn't have to get out of your car. You didn't have to talk to me that way either. Carol? You're a black man oh, approaching a white woman. First of all, you had your, your boy right here, your okay, husband bro. right here. So first of all, I don't do that type okay, of stuff. Relax. You did. You put your car in park and you came uh, after yeah, me. I, I, first of all, I didn't come at you. Yes, you did. You didn't stop all of that, hey, Karen. Karen. Considering the situation he was in, Terrell had already brought out his phone and was recording the entire interaction. He literally came this after me. <laughs> Here she crying. There's Karen. Look at this. This is unbelievable. Swear to God, I've never been a part of nothing like this. I've seen it. I've seen it. I've seen it. Yes, I've seen it, but this is firsthand. <laughs> oh boy, as she's crying. Oh my God, this is this is real. This is real. This is real. Here you go. Here you go, sir. You can, this is real. This is real. This is real. This is real. I've never seen. I've, I've seen it, but I've never been a part of this. This is real life. And now she's crying. Her husband tried to tell her to go in the house, but now she wanted to do the whole camera thing. So I'm gonna be here with my camera to show everything. First of all, you need to stop that. He was not. I was in the garage. You're lying now because I was sitting in the garage. She said I was speak. First of all, I I know what you're saying. No, no, I get you. No, this is real. This is real life in 2022. This is real life Karen stuff. <laughs> and she's crying. I've never seen. I do. I've seen it on, on, on TV. I've seen it on video, but I've never really been a part of something like this. This is unbelievable. Then she brought up that I'm the subject of HOA. Said Everybody's been talking about me, my my house. I don't keep up with my house. I got liens. I don't pay my fines. Everything. I how do I know? Cause she told me. Karen. What's her name? Kate. Close enough, Kate. Caitlin was outright accusing Terrell of running her off the road with his vehicle and harassing her before the police arrived. These are very serious accusations that could easily land him in police custody. They were also completely made up. Bro, she just brought them tears out. She just brought those tears out before he got before she got here. She was it was you this you that everything. Oh yeah, before I got here, it was all of that. The police showed up. Oh, they the the, the tears start flowing. I thought they were supposed to start finding them for profiling. Oh, oh man, it's all good. First of all. She said, I said, I wasn't speeding. And then they're going to tell me. But she don't have no speed. No, 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 no. I got it. But she said, we didn't say you were speeding. We told you you need to slow down. So what does that mean? If you telling me I'm, I need to slow down, that means I was speeding. Right? Yeah. So then she said, I went after it. I was like, no, nah, I came over here because you said you was calling 911. You was calling the police. I'm like, all right, cool. I'm going to sit right here and wait till the police come. I talk, I'm going I'm to talk to uh, George Lopez since I'm the subject, whoever the HO is. Since I'm the subject of the meetings, I'm going I'm, I'm to ask them, what, what do I to do since I can stop? I don't even, I bar I'm barely even here. And then told me, I'm living in, you, you, you're living in a low budget neighborhood. Oh, yeah, I live in a low budget neighborhood, but she living in here with me. I'm living in a low budget neighborhood. But, oh, this all good? I ain't tripping. She don't know nothing. I got two houses. I'm not even worried about that. But that just that's how she was coming at me. So when I called her Karen, husband wanna tell me, oh, stop calling her Karen. Man, I'm not. They thought I was just gonna bow down and listen to all that mess. Okay. This is this is where we are. This is where we are, America. This is where we are. Luckily for Terrell Owens, the accusations were not backed up with any evidence or witnesses, so he was free to go. I've been here two days. <laughs> Two days. Well, with that said, anything else you need from us? Man, no, nah, man. I just wanted to make sure because I knew at some point y'all were going to come to my door. So I just stayed right here till y'all got here.
appreciate it. So I don't know why she thought I was finna run somewhere, but she wasn't finna sit up here and talk to me crazy, this and that, and you, this and that, and I'm like, all right, cool. That's fine. Where would you run to the court? That, that, that's what I have been. What, 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 if you folks look, you can go ahead to your residence. All right, go ahead. You can get into your vehicle, sir. Oh, yeah, okay. <laughs> wow, I, I can't believe this. This is, this is unreal. Yeah. All right, well, people, this is uh, this has been my night. But I just want to let y'all know, man. I, hey, this real, this Karen stuff is really real. It's really real. That's all I gotta say. It's real. After three months of investigation, the available evidence and surveillance footage did not back up Caitlin Davis's accusations. Consequently, she was charged with filing a false police report. However, the charges were later dropped. Our next racist Karen is a North Dakota lawmaker pulled over by the Burley County Sheriff's Department for driving under the influence. On the 15th of December, 2022, lawmaker Nico Rios was driving home drunk from a Christmas party when he was pulled over by the police for failing to stay in his lane. How's it going, bud? What are you looking for? Look for his registration. Oh, okay. Yeah, you can go in the glove box if you need to. Hey, I'm not trying to give any of you guys any pumps. No. Nope, okay. I'm just like I said, I'm going to give you guys my card to let you know. No, I don't want your card. I need your registration, buddy. Hey, I'm not. I'm going to find whatever you guys are going for. Can I ask a question? Uh, how long has that open bottle of Corona been back there? Nice like three or four days. Three or four days? Okay, then. Uh, wait, do you know where your registration is in the vehicle? Uh, at least um, April 24. But do you know where it is in the vehicle? Yeah. I, there's, the, there, there's, there's, there, there's no op an open bottle of liquor. There, 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 I can see there's a glass bottle of, I believe it to be Corona back there. I was just asking. Yeah, but I can assure you that I live two blocks away. Okay. Have you had any alcohol to drink tonight? Not in like, what is it? It's uh, midnight? In like six, seven hours. Yeah, it's uh, 11 point right now. Six, seven hours. Oh, okay. How much do you have, do you have to drink? Uh, three, three or four beers. Three or four beers? Where was it? Uh, at the oh. restaurant at okay. Famous Aids. Another secondary question. This is expired by like four months. Do you have like a newer one or a more recent one? His slurred speech, the open bottle in his car, and the fact that he admitted to consuming alcohol made it incredibly obvious that Rios was intoxicated. However, the officers decided to run a field sobriety test to determine just how impaired he was. No. Just keep following it with your eyes and your eyes only, okay? Yes, sir. Reset, please. Okay. Would you like me to do a dance? Just one more. Just uh, what we're going to do, we're going to go up now, okay? So yes, same sir. thing, just follow your eyes and your eyes only. Hey, where are you from? I just, can I, can I, can I no, come down? No, just, time, can I, the no, test? no, just, uh, I need to do this test, right, bud? Just stand still with your feet together and your arms down by your side, please. Time out. No. Where no. are you from with your accent? Okay, if you don't continue the test, I'm going to take as a refuse, all right? Sorry, yeah, no, I, I'm not going to refuse, guys, because okay. you guys are cops. Just put your feet together and your arms down by your side, please. No, just follow your eyes and your eyes only, please. Can give my head straight? Yeah, please. Up. Sir. Okay, so we're going to move on to another test. This is called the walk and turn test. Whatever so what I'm going to have you do is, if you just step back a little, just so we can. Uh, actually, we'll use. Uh, it's good. We're going to use this line. You reckon nine, one thousand four, and you're going to do that until you're told to stop. Yes, you understand? I can do that. Yes, sir. All right. In your own time, you can start. One thousand two, two thousand three. Three, four, five, six. I'm gonna get in a flat service. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, oh, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Okay, that's perfect. You can stop that. Rios's performance made it abundantly clear that he was too impaired to be operating a motor vehicle. The officers decided to finish off the encounter with a breathalyzer test. That's when Rios started to get agitated. So what I'm going to uh, request is that you provide a specimen breath in uh, what's called an alcohol sensor, otherwise known as uh, a breathalyzer. Yes, sir. 
Are you happy to provide that? I'm not gonna do that. You know why? Why is that? Because you know, I'm like two blocks away. Okay. You guys are picking on me. Okay. And so you, know, I, you guys are gonna you guys are gonna regret picking on me. Okay. Because I'm, you don't know who the okay. I am. Okay. Just one second. I'm gonna give you. I'm gonna. I'm gonna, give, I'm gonna give you a chance. I'm gonna give you a chance again. Will you provide the test? No, sir. Okay. And you know what? Sir, this moment of time, you're under arrest. DUI. Place on my back. I'm gonna have uh, another thing. Oh, hold on. You want to cough up? Cheers. Just a couple more things I need to read to you, okay? No, I don't have any call trouble, you guys. Can't call trouble me. Just about right to die. Rio seemingly had no problems with being taken into custody. However, when he found out he wouldn't be driving his truck home that night, he started to drop some slurs. Can we at least drop? Please. Okay. Like two blocks away. Hey, listen, we're asking. He's asking you a question first. Let's start with that. Okay. Are you willing to submit to the intox other eight thousand? Are you not? Simple as that. Yes or no? I will submit that if you let me drive off. Okay. Not you You're not going to be driving your vehicle, okay? No, I, I, I so, don't. but what we can do, we can lock your vehicle, okay, and we can bring the keys with us. There's two of you. How many? Uh, uh, not driving that car yeah, we'll, we'll, that far. So this is. It's that's literally like two blocks away. Listen, this is what I can do though. Instead of leaving it on that side, I can put it over there. I can put it right over there when some more I want to I want to drop my truck off. All right, okay. no, we're not doing that. So we're gonna we're go to this vehicle. So we're going. Okay. Good. We're gonna go to the rear passenger side of the vehicle. Okay. 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 There's no need for that language, bud. You guys are gonna run some more than I will. I just can't get into that. All right, just hold on for a sec. Hold on for a sec. Just don't go in yet. Okay. As of everyone. This vehicle has been searched, there is nothing in there. Anything that's found, once you leave, is going to be related to you, okay? Do you understand? Yes, sir. I, 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 so it's easier to strap them in. Hey, I'm, I, I, I mean, no respect to... Uh... Alright, I'm just going to... You ain't got any weapons or anything on you, have you? No, sir. Right, I'm just going to search you real There's quick. There's no weapons on my car either. So what do you want us to do about your car? So what I can do is I can roll up your window, shut the vehicle off, you can have your keys in your possession, so that when you are released, a sober individual can do it, or... Hey, I'll tell you what. That's the best. We're not moving the car, Those are, that's your only option. I'll drive it to my place. No. Uh, I can't. No, I, I can't can We're not doing that. That's All right. No, 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 no. Are you good? Can, can you guys give me five good? seconds? Are you happy for us to park the vehicle? Can you give me five seconds to talk to you? No. Okay, step in the no. car, bud. No. Just get in. Go ahead and get in. Hey, where are you from? It doesn't matter. As you can imagine, it was not a quiet ride to the police station. Sitting in the back of the squad car, Nico Rios went on a racist rant about the United Kingdom, the officer's home country. Are you proud to be English, at least? Why is that relevant? Because, why, what, what are you doing here in North Dakota, arresting people? Your, your country's being taken over by migrants and this. You're arresting me for driving home. But people come into your country, you're women. Yes or no? And I'm the bad guy? Yes or no? Tell me. Tell me, bro. Yes or no? You can't even answer me. Because you know you f***ing wrong. Rios's ranting, unsurprisingly, did not get the officer to let him go. Instead, he was charged with driving under the influence and refusing a chemical test. He was sentenced to serve nearly a year of unsupervised probation and to pay $1,000. 
right now. New this morning, a Montgomery County police officer caught on camera using a racial slur against a group of African American men. The encounter was caught on camera. WMR2 News Chanel Perriman is following that story for us. On the 9th of May 2019, multiple members of Maryland's Montgomery County Police Department arrived at a McDonald's in Silver Spring. They had responded to a report that a group of black men were loitering outside the restaurant. Upon arriving at the scene, the officers detained the men and began to search them. According to reports, the men stated that they were waiting for someone to come and pick them up for work when a McDonald's employee called the police on them. You got ideas? Right. Yeah, and actually, uh, what's your idea? It was a real problem. You know, it came like this. Would you be quiet so I can Damn. hear? See, he doesn't want to leave. He wants us to stay longer. That's well, why we'll stay longer. Going. I mean, I ain't got no problem. <laughs> I get paid till four. What do you got? What's your idea? Uh, date of birth? Why you got paper? I can't run you off your hand. Oh, I got you. Right, here, give me that. <laughs> and you're going to have that pad of paper. I'm good. Okay. Oh, my. Let's run these now. What year? What, no, what year? 93. Okay, I thought you said. Sweetheart. I was making sure that he got the same number that what you said. Because I didn't want to get no return and then have to ask you more and ask you again. Okay? So that's why I'm asking you to verify. We're good? Okay. What are you? Is this you? Okay. Two last names? Uh, I mean, it all depends. I was adopted, so sometimes it just shows up as women, sometimes it shows up as men. What do you go by? Do you have a um, middle name? Alright, so why is it, is, it, is, it, is it a certain reason why I got my phone? Like I got everybody else. Hey, everybody else got it. Now, start yelling over there. I'm no talking about my last name. My last name is. I'm, I'm cooperating with you. I'm telling you my name. Yeah, but don't be. Alright, don't worry about it, bro. Cause y'all throwing me off about nothing. Yeah, Robin, y'all worry about us. I'm telling y'all, step up. That's the thing you need to do. Ain't no black. Bye. The men were clearly not very happy with being detained and having their property searched. However, the officers only continued to antagonize them. Thank you. Your height. Sutton. S U N T I N. Sutton. I need a number. Here you go. Now we're talking English. Get. I don't know how much I weigh. I really don't. See, I say about 110 at most. Hey, was that on Snapchat? Because you got to get my good side if you're going to be on Snapchat. If you're on Snapchat, make sure you add me or tag me or you know what I mean. just asked me, did I make it to work? And I told her no. As a kind moment, I'm getting pressed up by the phone in. Hey. Because, like, no, I. Whose bag is this? Y'all do this every day with me. 
seen him in the back. If I was a bag, I'm going to check his head. Has it been checked yet? Call y'all. It don't matter. If I didn't want to hit me, if I was going to I would have ran from y'all. Like, come on now. I would have caught you. Not we need to race. You and I are going to race. How am I, I trespassing? Little us. Well, that's what's happening. That oh, that's cool. Go ahead. Continue your job, sir. Go ahead. I'm <laughs> okay, go ahead. You're <laughs> one angry uh, individual. Because I'm an angry individual. That's what the yeah, yeah, why? Makes Why you are you so mad? Wait, wait. Do okay? what you got to do. Have some for me. What you doing with these? I work for a movie company. That's why you got that strap in there. What does it do? What does it do? I have like about four boxes on top of So you call them all together? She likes straps. Yo, I'm big into straps. Strap on, strap off. Lots of different straps. That's why I'm very well uh, versed in what straps do. Uh, someday when you grow up, maybe you'll be less angry. Yeah, I'm a eater now. Um, it's good to be something. As the encounter went on, this man pulled out his phone and started live streaming. That's when one of the officers decided to use a racial slur. This was the part of the live stream that immediately went viral. He came to write a whole bunch of paperwork. <laughs> hey, we're trying to, you want to get out of here fast, right? So if we have more people, y'all been trying to something. You want to get out of here faster? We have more of our friends to help to get out faster. Race? Uh, no, one, one, one. I bet she had a badge on. She won't cause no. <laughs> I would still say it because what I'm doing is repeating your words. After that, the men were cited for trespassing and marijuana possession. There are no records of the officer receiving any disciplinary measures. Want to see never-before-seen cases in their rawest form? Click on the screen right now to head over to my new channel.